Hello artists, it's Miss Dunn. I'm so excited to create something super colorful with you today. Today we're going to be making a printmaking project or a painting without using any kind of paints. So for a printmaking project, it's a style that you get to make something, but it only can be made one time. So every time you make it, it's a little different. So if you want to make the printmaking style today, I recommend making more than one. Or we're going to be doing a painting today and you're not going to paint with paint. I mean, you can paint if you actually have paints, but I thought it'd be super fun to paint with something different today. So we're going to be making emojis. So you can make a printmaking project emoji. So these are two of my prints that I made, or you can paint an emoji. Let's get started. Today we're going to be making emoji prints or an emoji painting. You will need a piece of paper, a pencil, and something round to trace. It can be a lid or maybe a circular container, something round. Place your round object down on the side of your paper and trace it. This is a really fun project, so I encourage you to make a second one so you can make two at the same time. We're gonna cut the paper a little bit smaller so that way they're individual. So go ahead and fold your paper underneath your circles, crease the paper, get some scissors, and cut right on the line. Repeat the same step one more time to separate the two emojis. Find the space in between the two circles, Fold and crease the paper, get your scissors, and cut the line. I decided to make one more just so I can show you some different ways to make the emojis. Go ahead and draw your emoji faces right in the circles. You can make up your own or copy an emoji, it's really up to you. Here are three examples that I drew and after these samples, I have another whole page of different emojis that you can pause the video to check them out. To make the wink, just think of it as a sideways comma. You can combine different emojis too to make up your own. For a smile, you can draw a letter U, go across, and you can even add some teeth if you want to. For this next one, I drew the crazy face expression, the one that has the eyes going different directions and the tongue hanging out. After you're done drawing the big circle and the smaller circle inside, go ahead and make the mouth. Make it nice and light because you might need to erase some parts. So as you're making the mouth, you're going to leave a space for the tongue. I add a line across for the teeth and then a big giant U for the tongue. For this last one, I made my favorite emoji, the one where the eyes are closed and he's smiling really big. Go ahead and make that comma shape and bring it back. It's almost like a sideways teardrop. And repeat the same thing on the other side. So curve it around and then match up that line to connect. Then make a smile and then a smaller smile for the mouth. This emoji has eyebrows, so I just added two curved lines above the eyes. Feel free to pause the video here to see a bunch of different examples of emojis. Now, if you're going to print or paint your emojis, you would have to use a permanent marker to trace your emoji, so that way that the ink will not bleed when you're doing your project. If you just wanna color your emoji, that's fine too, but I'm really excited to show you these different ways that you can create at home. Don't forget to use an eraser to erase any pencil marks that are left over. The first way you can color these is by making marker prints. They're super fun to do. You're going to need a piece of tin foil and washable markers and a spray bottle with water only. Place your print on top of the aluminum foil, use a sharpie and make some little marks so you know how far to color for your print. Place your emoji off to the side and get your markers ready. You want to use the side of the marker, so see the big bold side, not the tip to color. So hold the marker a little bit further in the back and go ahead and color the aluminum foil however you wish. You can really use any colors or all the colors, it's really up to you. Make sure to color all the way out to the side of the guidelines that you made so that way it covers your marker print. It's okay if you leave a little space of uh, foil showing. Once you're finished coloring your foil, you wanna get your water spray bottle out and you're only gonna squirt it just a few times. I think I squirted mine three times and that was more than enough. 
Next, you're gonna take your emoji, make sure you flip it over so it's face down, put it right directly on the top of your foil, and give it a good rub. You don't have to push super hard, but make sure you rub in the whole thing. After you're done rubbing, go ahead and peel it back for the final reveal. Ta-da! Look at this awesome print. Now, I have some missing space, so I can always put my paper back down and give it another rub. After you peel it back again, give it a look. You might like it the way it is. I really like this, but I decided to flip mine over and try and grab some of the extra ink that was left over. You can reuse the same piece of foil again, so you can just get some type of paper towel or a napkin and just wipe it right off, and then it's ready to use again. You can use the same process of using markers, spraying it, and printing as many times as you wish. You can keep the foil and keep making as many prints as you want. You can also paint your emoji. If you have paints, you can use them, but I'm gonna show you how to paint with markers. And you can paint it in however you wish. If you are painting your emoji, make sure you use a permanent marker to trace first and eraser to erase any pencil marks that are left over. You will need a sandwich bag, any size will work, washable markers, and a paintbrush. You will also need a cup or container of water. Using the side of the marker, color a little bit on the sandwich bag. Take your paintbrush and dip it in the water, then swirl it around right on top of the marker, and go ahead and paint it on your paper. And repeat these steps again. Water, paint, paper. When you're ready to switch colors, just go ahead and color the baggie in a different spot and repeat the steps, water, paint, paper. Anytime you wanna add a new color to your painting, just put it on your sandwich bag and keep repeating the steps, water, paint, paper. If one of your colors runs out and you need more, there's a trick. You're gonna wipe off that spot and then repeat adding marker to your bag and continue to paint, water, paint, paper. Ta-da! This is a super fun way to paint, and it's a little bit different. It's a fun process, so I hope you enjoyed it. You can use this process to really paint anything. I can't wait to see what you created today. I hope you had as much fun as I did making these.